everybody, welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. Tonight we're going to have um, hamburger pot pies with mashed potatoes and gravy. And what we're going to do is we're going to brown our hamburger. And that's one pound of hamburger I have in here. And I'm going to let that brown up. And what you're going to need is one pound of ground beef, one medium onion, finely diced, one tablespoon minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon dry thyme, one teaspoon black pepper, one green pepper, which is the jalapeno pepper, also one tablespoon of breadcrumbs, a half a cup of beef stock, and one teaspoon of curry powder, and you're also going to need a pie crust, so we'll get to that in a little bit. So I will be right back, guys, I'm going to brown it out, and then I'll show you guys what I'm putting in again. Hey guys, welcome back. I got the, um, the hamburger brown. I know it doesn't look that pretty, but browning hamburger is not that pretty to begin with. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to add all our onion. We're going to add our garlic and our peppers, which is a green pepper, like I said. We're also going to add our... Um, our curry and our thyme that's both I put them both in the single cup our black pepper and our paprika okay and we're also going to add a little bit of salt here just a little bit and then we're going to mix this up and we're going to let it cook before we put the other ingredients in what we wanted to do is get the onion, the pepper, the garlic, everything mixed in together and let it cook a while. And then we're going to put in our breadcrumbs and our um, uh, beef broth, which is a half a cup. And we'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. And what we're going to do is, now we're going to add our breadcrumbs, which is a tablespoon. And we're going to also add our beef broth, which is a half a cup. Okay? We're going to stir that up a little bit. And then we're going to just let it hang out. And get that going. So all the flavors can kind of mix them together. And I'm going to put a top on it. And I'll be back in five minutes for this. Hey guys, we're back. We're letting our mixture for our filling to cool down. Because that's done. And it's got to be completely cooled down. And now we're going to make our pie crusts, and we're going to make them into mini little pies, which are, we're going to use our uh, pie tin, and, uh, or well, actually our muffin tin. And in here, I have two cups of flour, all-purpose, five tablespoons of uh, vegetable shortening, and one stick of butter, and also one teaspoon of salt. I also have on the side, after I start mashing all this up, uh, and I'll show you how it looks when I get back, I also have uh, two-thirds water, well actually a half a cup of ice cold water in my cup, but I don't, we're not going to use the whole half a cup. So we'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I already cut it with the pastry cutter, and uh, when you're making a pie shell, a pie crust, they say it should resemble like cornmeal. In all my baking, all the time I've ever made a pie crust, it never resembled that. So this is, uh, this is good right here, so you girls know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start to add the water. And we're going to add just a little bit at a time. And this is the ice water. And then you're just going to toss it so that it can start catching together. And you keep tossing it. And just for you guys as uh, info, you don't have to really have a pastry cutter. Uh, fork will do it, but it takes a little bit more time. And what you want to do is just keep on tossing it. And it's wet enough here to make a ball out of it. So we didn't have to use that much water. And what you do is just roll it up. This is enough for two pie crusts, which means it's uh, one for um, the top and one for the bottom. But we're not going to use that. We're going to use our pie tin, the little uh, muffin tin. Lay that right there for a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our flour, put our water aside, and 
we're going to put dust this off. I got wax paper on here, so you girls know. Make it a lot easier to roll out, but always put the your guys' dough down. Cut half of the dough, because one is going to be the crust. You're going to want the crust. And what you do is lay it down flat. You guys can see the butter uh, marble in there and also the uh, the shortening. And you do your top like so. Then what you do is you get your other wax paper or plastic, whatever you got. Place that on top. Okay. Now we're going to start to roll it out. Just like a pie shell. And then we're going to get our cutter and show you how I'm going to put them in the little cups. And I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. And I want just to show you guys now. I can't find my reader for my biscuit cutter, but this will do. And this is a large cup because I have large uh, muffin trays right there. And then you just put it in there and twist it. And then just slowly you can reform your, uh, your dough just so you get more. But I also wanted to show you is that when you're doing them in a, in a pie tin like this, uh, a muffin tin, they're hard to take out and what you do is you put a little aluminum foil, cut some strips out, put the aluminum foil down like that, put your crust in and slowly put it down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to make these and fill them uh, and make the top crust and everything else and then I'll be back with you guys. I got my oven set on uh, 350 degrees so you guys know. Hey, welcome back. We got our little pastry shells here. And what I'm going to do is just fill them up with the uh, with the stuff that we made. And also, guys, if you have kids and if you're going to put the jalapeno in there, watch it because they are very hot and it's not really kid friendly. So this is something a little different. And we're going to do this, stuff all these up. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Is we're going to put our tops on. And we're going to brush it a little bit just here with a little bit of a knock. Put the top on. Push it down. And then don't forget, we do definitely need our steam holes. So we're just going to get it and we're just going to go like so. Okay. And then we're going to brush it again on the top. This makes things uh, get brown. And as soon as I finish everything off, I'll come right back. Hey, welcome back. We already played it. Uh, there's the little pot pies, the little hamburger ones. There's our mashed potatoes and brown gravy. And it goes two to a person. And also there is the extra gravy just in case the person wants some. So that's what the presentation looks like right there. And it's very simple. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to thank all of our subscribers, all of our friends for joining us tonight. And happy cooking, guys.